Good morning. I'm gonna do a paint my nails with me in this video. I told you guys, or I asked you guys to vote on a couple polishes on my Instagram as well as my last, uh, I think it was my project polish video. And I had you guys choose from these two. This one is CND's Cake Pop and this is Essie's Mint Candy Apple. A lot of you guys really like this one. Both of these are new to me, by the way. So either one I was going to be excited about. Didn't really matter. I don't have anything on my nails. I did put moisturizer on my hands because my hands have been extremely dry. I have a little eczema patch right here. Um, but I thought I would show you guys the uh, base coat and the top coat that I'm going to be using. This is the Nail Teaks Formula 2. And I'm using this one because my nails have been peeling breaking you can see those little white um, patches there I don't know if you can see them actually I'm not really sure let's see if we're are we not in focus sorry maybe there um, so my nails have been peeling not doing so well I have some talky staining talkies you know because I'm obsessed with them and then I've been using the orally in a snap top coat this is an okay top coat what I do like about it is that it's very very thin and it is fast drying but this leaves the nails glossy but it doesn't give you that gel effect which I'm okay with especially if I've applied three coats of a particular polish I don't really want the overly thick look on my nails so we're gonna be using that I did go in earlier with my blue cross uh, cuticle remover just to clean up around the cuticle areas my nails have been not only have my nails been suffering but I've been nibbling a lot at the <laughs> at my cuticle area which is really bad but it's what happens when I have a lot going on I, and I also filed my nails with my OPI glass nail file I was able to pick another one up I mentioned it on Instagram this is my by far my favorite nail file and uh, crystal nail file that I have tried I've tried from a couple of companies I think I mentioned the one from ASP in a recent haul or one of my recent hauls and I don't like that one that one lost the grit so fast it's ridiculous and it was ten dollars which is about the same price as this if not a little bit more so that was a bummer uh, let's show you guys the cup since I did that last time the cup that I'm using sadly I can't really show you too much let's see it's Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas and I thought I would show you guys the teas that I have in here right now so I have the stash peppermint tea from Duh, from Stash. And then I have the Country Peach Passion mixed in as well. I've been obsessed with the, uh, I think it's a medicine ball from, medicine ball tea from Starbucks. And these are the kind of teas that they, not the brands, but you know, the kind of teas that they, they add in. All right, so let's start off with, uh, oh, I also added in some lemon lemon juice, warmed it up, and added it in as well as some honey. So I'm going to start with my, oh, uh, right there. Is that is that good? I think that's good. Let's try to get it to stay there. I'm going to start out with my nail teaks. I need this right now. My nails need it. So I'm going to be using this one as my base coat today. And I do a very thin, thin coat. I applied it yesterday a couple of times because the recommended use for this is for you to apply it a couple times a day, I think two to three times a day or something if I'm not mistaken, for a week or two. And then continue applying it every day in order for it to work. But you kind of have to have naked nails because um, I think after a week you can just peel it right off and then start over and it works so well I've tried um, this one the nail tech brand I've also tried the one from OPI and this is by far my favorite this one was recommended to me ages ago by my sister because she has very thin nails and I've never turned back. I want to say mid-2000s is when I found out about this product. And I've been loyal to it ever since. I'll go back between the formulas because they have... This is the Formula 2, which is the one for, I think, 
uh, thin and uh, peeling nails, but they have a formula one and they also have a formula three depending on your needs. Right now, because I have peeling nails, I'm using this one. All right, so the polish that I will be using is Essie's Mint Candy Apple. I've never used this one before. Actually, Zenora commented, I think she sent me a message through Instagram because I did an Instagram story asking you guys as well which polish you guys were going to want me to use in this video. And she told me that the new formula, which is this, uh, has more blue in it. So, either way. Can we stop with the purring, please? Thank you so much. I would appreciate it. All right. The only thing I don't like about Essie is how thin their brushes are. I'm not a huge fan of that because I have wide nail beds. So I have to be very careful. And like I mentioned before, for me, I like starting away from my cuticle this far out and then push the brush in. Stella, cut it out. I like pushing it towards the cuticle because it allows me more control. And I'm hoping this is a two coater. It looks like it may be a three coater. We'll see. I am so tempted to buy the Zoya polish remover because I don't think that's helping my nails and because my nails are super sensitive right now. I want everything that, I want to use everything that's really, really good for them, uh, which I'm pretty sure 100% acetone is not really good. It's probably hurting me more than helping me out. I'm desperate when I remove my nail polish. I don't like having to rub, 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 rub. I much prefer um, to use 100% acetone so that it's quick. Not a very patient person, but, um, and I haven't purchased the one from Zoya because it's so pricey that I don't know if it's something that I can maintain, but you know, maybe I can use it once in a while, invest in the large bottle and use it once in a while. Estela, hush, honey. Do you do, do your dog purr all the time? She she purrs all the damn time. It's driving me nuts. Forgive my cuticles. I'm like even some areas are scabbing. It's so bad. Ugh. This is one of my bad habits. I used to bite my nails before and uh, chew on my cuticles, and I used to chew until I bled. It was really bad. Um, and I've calmed down quite a bit, but when I have a lot going on with, or my mind is is full <laughs> When there's a lot going on I tend to um, nibble quite a bit The AC is running right now and I feel like it's affecting how it's applying in this area all right, so once I apply my polish, while it's still wet, I like to go in with the with my thumbs, which is why I always leave my thumbs last because they help me clean up quite a bit. Uh, so I thought I would, um, or anyways, I had mentioned that I thought I, uh, that I would share with you guys what I've been up to since I haven't been uploading. Summer tends to be really crazy for me because my kids are out of school and we always have some like family in from out of town and so there's always a lot of activities going on with the family as well as um, this was uh, July 2nd was the anniversary of my cousin's death so there was a lot of things going on during that time of course um, if you follow me or you know remember from last year there was we had a death in the family we had a few deaths in the last year uh, I don't want this video to be about that because it's not, you know, I don't want it to be like depressing or anything, but um, just wanted to share with you guys that, you know, in July, beginning of July, starts getting 
a little crazy. Actually, end of June, it starts getting a little bit crazy. Um, but two of my kids are now back to school. They have year round. And so they're back to school, but my oldest is not in school yet. She's still in school and she's starting junior high. Oh my gosh. I'm in shock. I'm, I'm gonna cry. I can't believe that she's starting junior high already. All right, so that's coat number one. And there's still some patchiness and sheer. It's not an even application. Could be me and how I applied it. Uh, could be the polish. I'm not sure if you have experienced or have practiced with this polish. Let me know if it's, you know, if this is the way that it normally performs or it could just be me, you know, because sometimes it's not the polish. It's sometimes it's the way that I apply it or you apply it and stuff like that. You just kind of have to find a way with the polishes and uh, but because I don't know how this performs, I just applied it the way that I normally apply my polishes. While that's drying though, let me share with you guys my shirt. I got this at the men's department at Walmart. <laughs> it's the Freddie and J Jason shirt. I'm so excited. I went last time and they didn't have it available. They were completely sold out. So, um, when I went this last week... I found it, and this is a double X, but I don't care because I can wear it kind of like a shirt dress. <laughs> so I have tights on right now. All right, I'm gonna let this dry, and then we'll go in for the second coat, so I'll be right back. All right, it's time for my second application. You know what I noticed is that I don't have any lights on. Oops. Sorry. All right, so my second coat usually goes by pretty quick. Mm, Got to remove some of that polish off of the brush here. It almost deposits a little bit too much. And then go over this one. So let me know down below what you guys have been up to this summer. Um, if you guys get as busy as I do. I had all these plans for videos. <laughs> and sadly, I had no chance to do it. But this uh, coming week, I will record... Like this week, I recorded my project updates because those are really important to me to try to keep up with them. And next week I will um, I will do my uh, what is it called the seasonal rack video for summer and as well as my picks for summer nail polishes I didn't do as a good of a application this time around there's like jagged edges here which I'm not a fan of you may not be able to see it, but I can see it and it drives me nuts. And I hate doing that because I hate to do cleanup. Oh no. I got it almost in my in my cuticle area. Ooh, I just bumped my nail into the tripod. So I'll have those two videos recorded next week and uploaded. I also need to get back on my weekly basket train. I've been using the same products that I added in my last weekly basket because I haven't done one so I've just stuck to the same the same products. Oh my god. My hand is really really shaky. I just had a banana because I was getting really hungry and that could be why I'm really shaky right now. Uh, but I wanted to do this video this week because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a paint your nails with me video Which thank you by the way a lot of you guys gave me great feedback on what to name this video because I didn't know I got a lot of suggestions, but most of you guys said that it's paint your nails with me Not paint my nails with me, which makes way more sense. You see how shaky I am. Oh my gosh. And because this thumb is not really supported, ugh. Gosh, 
My application is so messy. Ay, 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 madre mía. Uh, oh god. Sorry. I'm not talking because I'm trying to focus on how I'm applying this. And that normally happens to me when it's um polishes like this, like in this color. Let me zoom out a little bit. I feel like I'm zoomed in way too much. All right, I'm gonna pour out a little bit of acetone here. I like cleaning up while the polish is, is still a little wet. And you know what I just realized? I didn't bring a paper towel. Oh God, and I didn't bring out a brush to clean up. But I have one right here. This is where I keep a lot of my stuff. And this angle brush here, I use it for cuticle creams and stuff just so that I can apply it as neatly as possible. But I can't find my little Burt's Bees. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, just dang that. Oh. You know, this is, this is how I roll. I like pushing the product down when I ding it and then going in with a little bit of polish. And then the top coat will fix that for me, any little bump that I have. Anyways, all right, so I'm gonna use this little brush here to clean up. This is one from e.l.f. I think this is their lip or concealer brush, which is really good. Um, so I've been using this one to clean up. the. The brush itself gets a little fat at the end, so not a huge fan of that. And I like to pull this back so I can get in as close as possible in here without actually touching my nail. Let's see, oh God. Well, I guess it's good that I made mistakes here so I can show you guys how I clean up the edges here. I don't do this very often because it's just not my it's not my jam. I try to be super careful in application so I don't have to do this, but sometimes, you know, we just have to. So it looks like it got opaque at two coats. It's really good. Super happy with that saved me from having to do this another coat of this really good formulation I think next time I know what to expect when applying this nail polish let's see here because I was really shaky with my thumbs I normally like to rest my thumb on the table but the camera doesn't, maybe here, can you guys see? I normally like to support my thumb here at the edge of the table. And uh, let's clean up this pinky finger here. I don't like having too much acetone on the brush because it'll leak into the polish itself. My favorite cleanup brush was from an, the Up and Up brand from, from Target, and I think it was their concealer brush. It was when their handles were that metallic look, um, but they've changed them since then, and they've changed the brushes, sadly. And I can't find that brush, but I love it. They don't make it anymore, but you know, I still have mine. I just have to have to look for it. My nails are also different lengths because they've been breaking. Um, so I've been struggling with letting my nails grow out a little bit. It's just been such a struggle lately. All right, I think that's as clean as I'm going to get them. I'm going to let this dry and then I will come back and we'll do the top coat, which is going to be the one from Orly and it's called In a Snap. Before my battery dies, let's put on the top coat. I've been letting the polish sit for about a good 
15 minutes and let me get you guys in closer mm -hmm. there's a little bit of balding like bald spots here like in this particular finger so i think that's just the inconsistency in my application because all the other ones seem to be seem to be fine but i don't have time today to go over with another coat i need these to be dry because i gotta go to the store with my kiddo so the orally in a snap dries pretty fast it's very very thin consistent because consistency wise and i do like it at first right now it's gotten a little bit thicker this is thicker by the way when you first get it it's very watery very runny so i had to be extra careful and remove a lot of the top coat off of the brush itself because it kept running down my cuticles and even now sometimes if I'm not too careful or if I pick up too much it will deposit way too much and it'll get everywhere okay and I'll just do one coat of this let me know down below what top coat you guys have been enjoying lately. Um, I'll go back and forth between this one and the uh, out the door top coat, which is my ultimate favorite. And this one seems to be doing pretty good for me. It's one that I would definitely buy again. I think I'm almost at the halfway point of this one. Let's get in here while we're in view here. The cuticle, um, the cuticle balm that I've been using is the one from the Burt's Bees. Especially for pictures, it's been working very well for me because uh, that one leaves the cuticles looking moist but not greasy, for, especially for pictures, for Instagram or swatch pictures, whatever. But today I'm going to have to use my my um, Vaseline because I can't find the Burt's Bees one. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this lotion out. This is the one from Curel. It's the fragrance free. I'm gonna use this instead of the Vaseline because I don't, I don't really want the greasy look. And this is nice because it'll moist, moisturize it but not leave it looking greasy. And I'll go even underneath this area here. I just dinged this finger by the way and I had to patch it up a little bit maybe next time I'll show you guys how I do that I just don't want this video to be too long like it is right now and I'll just grab this moisturizer and apply it everywhere and I like it because it sinks into this the skin really fast it doesn't take a very long time for it to absorb that's my kid eating by the way she's eating ramen noodles right now did you add egg to yours baby hmm? did you add egg to your ramen no. I gotta top coat this one off again but I gotta let it dry for a little while before I do that. So this kind of polish for me, although it's dry to the touch usually, you gotta let it dry for a while, at least a good 30 minutes, just because of the nature of colors like these, they tend to dry, fully dry, you know, it takes them a little while. For them to fully dry is what i'm trying to say i'm going to end this video now guys thank you so much for watching let me do a close-up here so you guys can see what's going on with the nails and grab a little bit of this and just put it on my hands do you see how i ding this nail right here you see that bump right there that's not annoying all right, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'm really glad that you guys enjoy these kind of videos. And this one, I dinged it too. Can you see that? Ugh. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.